We think we are in control of a situation, sometimes of others, mostly of ourselves. But is it true or merely an illusion? When things go well, we believe we are in the driver's seat. We take credit for our strengths, our positive attributes, traits we are proud of. But once the pressure is on, especially at stressful times of change, our good behaviour goes out of the window. We act like somebody we don't want to know. For a moment, we lose control and wonder who is in my driver's seat. Stay tuned. Hello, hello, lovely people, and welcome to Flux. I'm Lazaro Wolf. Being in control, in its absolute sense, is an illusion. We would like to think that we are the masters of our universe, but it's hardly the case. We can't even control ourselves fully, let alone anything beyond reach. We often catch ourselves acting automatically, perhaps in a way we didn't fully expect. That happens mostly when we are under pressure. As if our well-behaved, well-nurtured character bends under the uncertainty and ambiguity of change. These less flattering aspects of who we are have their roots in our, yes, you guessed it, upbringing. As children, we are exposed to innocent, everyday messages with powerful impact on us. Little things like move faster, do your best, practice makes perfect, boys don't cry, try to look smart and so on. And we hear them right, left and centre, not just from our parents. These social messages become part of who we are and mould how we behave, with extra pressure to comply from the grown-ups around. Although they all sound familiar, some leave a stronger mark than others, depending on the rewards or sanctions attached. Fast forward to today, this phrase is still dominate us, perhaps unconsciously, and trigger hidden, unexpected behaviours. These behaviours, called drivers, thanks to Uncle Freud, have an instinctive, almost compulsive quality in them. In normal circumstances, they might be less apparent, yet still present, and lead us to behave in ways that will gain us the recognition we need from others. They even appear as a strength. But what happens at time of pressure, stress, change? They are unleashed, intensified as drawbacks, trapping us in a vicious circle. We think we should behave like our driver dictates, and the more energy we put into it, the greedier our driver becomes, causing us problems and more stress that leads us to put more energy, and this goes on and on. Professor Hay, based on the work of Kayla and Capers, summarizes these drivers in the form of five working styles, and these influence everything we do. How we collaborate, communicate, organize, contribute, function. As a change leader, knowing the effects of working styles allows you to understand their unhelpful aspects, people's emotions and reactions. It also gives us an opportunity to reflect on ourselves too, as aspects of our behavior under pressure take place in our blind spots, with us being totally unaware. But first, let's explore the positive attributes, the strengths of each working style. Introducing our minifigures, Mr. Be Perfect, Miss Hurry Up, Mrs. Be Strong, Mr. Try Hard, and Mix, Please People, taking their working styles to extremes. Starting with Mr. Be Perfect.
Here's my perfect motto. If a job is worth doing, it's worth doing perfect. As Mr. B. Perfect, I strive for, you guessed it, perfection. My work, my high standards, my attention to detail, unsurpassable. I like big words. No typos, no errors or any sign of sloppiness in my reports. It would have been unforgivable. My work is uber accurate. Facts, figures and details have been cross-checked. Multiple times. My desk is immaculate. The plans are granular to the nth degree, with several mitigation plans to put into effect. Because one can be never too prepared. Want a problem solved? With a thorough analysis attached that looks good too? That's a task for me. My projects run smoothly like water. Coordinate resources by detailed email? Check. Update massive gun chart in real time? Check. That's an excellent and perfect result. Next, miss, hurry up. Let me say this once and very quickly. My nemesis is Mr. B. Perfect. His sentence is too long, too complicated. His work, slow. I hate slow, but me, I'm fast. I'm known for how much I can accomplish in a short time. Fast. Where others fail, I thrive. Fast. Short deadlines, no problem. Under pressure, this is what gets me going. Did I mention fast? My motto, if you want something done, give it to a busy person. Um, me? Love lists. Lists about lists. Trello boards, post-it notes. You can never be too organized. And the more I have to do, the better. Give me a task and I'll find the best shortcut. Efficiency is my favorite word. Shaving off a few minutes here, a few minutes there makes so much more time. So I can squeeze even more tasks on a busy day. I don't mind. Prep time? Who needs it? I'd better spend it meeting more people and doing some actual work. Moving on to Mrs. Be Strong. Give me a crisis and I'll eat it for breakfast. I draw all my energy from a good old challenging, stressful situation. Stressful for others, that is, as I keep my cool. I remain calm when others run like headless chickens. What's that about? Someone needs to steer the ship with strong, determined leadership. And that requires logic, reason, common sense. Why panic when one has reliable, tried and tested, analytical thinking? Yes, some people get upset, angry even, but I prefer to cut to the chase and deal with each situation effectively. Why running round the bush, wasting tons of energy? Besides, it's my duty to deal with stuff, pleasant or unpleasant. As long as all is fair and square, there's no room for second thoughts. Emotions? I don't. Not for me. It's for the weak. That's one thing I'm not. And that's certain. Coming up, Mr. Try Hard. For me, it's all about how much effort you put into it. How hard you try. Otherwise, what's the point of an easy task? My enthusiasm goes through the roof on every new assignment, every new initiative. It feels great to get your hands on the shiny new thing. So excited when I help others and problem solve. I want to think, no, definitely, my enthusiasm is contagious. Part of the job. Kickoff meetings are my favorite. Brainstorming workshops, perfect. New creative ideas. I'm your man. Change plans. I can think all possibilities. Things that can go right. Things that can go wrong. Highlight the angles that others might have overlooked. Because one can't be too thorough. And I need to live up to my reputation. Last but not least, mix 
Please, people. Hi. Hello. How are you? No. Tell me how are you? You seem a bit down this morning. Is everything okay? Are you sure? You can tell me. I know you want to talk. Oh, come on now. I'm not nice. I'm just human. I completely understand what you're going through. I can feel it in my body too. I know. I have such empathy because I feel for you all. Yes, I use my intuition a lot. It helps me so much. I heard what happened. I don't want you guys to be upset. Harmony above everything else. I want you to be happy, to be included. Like with Bob the other day, I had to put him on the spot to share his brilliant idea. Yeah, he's the quiet one in that group. I hope I didn't embarrass him too much. No, good to hear. I just want to be considerate. As you were listening to every minifigure. Which one or two resonated with you more, even knowing they are a bit too extreme? Which one did you say, oh, that's me? Not entirely, of course, but you probably identified with some characteristics from a couple of them that are uncomfortably close to who you are. So far, you heard the story about how every minifigure sees themselves in the mirror. It's no secret. Most of us want to think about ourselves in a good light. Each working style has strengths, benefits, advantages. However, even the moon has a dark side. If you want to find out for sure which personality, which working style surfaces when you are under pressure, click on the link to our free, researched, backed working styles questionnaire in the description below. It's completely anonymous, by the way, GDPR and all that. This will point you to the right video for your dominant working style with an outsider's perspective. You will also find ideas, suggestions that may come useful at tense moments in change, when the shadow side of your working style takes over. Which are your dominant drivers? Were you surprised by the results? How much do they get in the way when you feel the heat? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget, if you found this video useful, hit the like button below, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe for more. That'd be lovely. Thanks for watching. Till the next one, I'm Lazaro Wolf. Take care.